Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry Online Coaching. I am Adi Chavardhan from AdiChemistry.com Varangal. In this presentation, we will explore the concept of activation energy which you will encounter in the chapter on chemical kinetics. This concept is of utmost importance as it elucidates the rate of a chemical reaction and aids in understanding the concept of chemical equilibrium also. I understand that some of you may have a strong curiosity to learn the subject but may find yourselves in the middle of the ocean as you are hesitant to ask questions in a traditional classroom setting. Don't worry, you have come to the right place. I will address all of your inquiries and guide you through the subject matter. If you come across anything that seems unclear or missing, Please feel free to ask me in the comments section. Okay now, let us dive straight into the topic in hand without any further delay. Let us examine the reaction between molecules A2 and B2 which leads to the creation of two AB molecules As is typical in chemical reactions, the initial step involves the breaking of existing bonds followed by the subsequent formation of new bonds between the A and B atoms. In this particular reaction, the pre-existing bonds within the A2 and B2 molecules are initially broken and we know that a certain amount of energy is required to break these bonds. Under normal conditions, the reactant molecules lack sufficient energy to break the existing bonds. They must acquire an additional amount of energy to accomplish this. As depicted on the screen, the reactant molecules must overcome an energy barrier in order to undergo a chemical reaction. The difference between the energy of normal molecules and this energy barrier is known as activation energy. It simply represents the additional energy required by the regular molecules to surpass the energy barrier. The energy barrier represents the minimum amount of energy that should be possessed by the molecules to undergo a chemical reaction and this is normally referred to as threshold energy. Therefore, the activation energy is defined as the difference between energy of normal molecules under standard conditions and the threshold energy possessed by the reactant molecules to undergo a chemical reaction. By the way, since 1982, according to IUPAC, 0 degree Celsius and 100 kilopascals are defined to be the standard conditions. Remember this. Now let us see the relation between activation energy and rate of a chemical reaction. The chemical reactions associated with smaller activation energies or faster. The specific rate of a chemical reaction is given by E power minus E A by R T where E A is activation energy and T is temperature while R is universal gas constant. Now test your understanding by stating the following statement is true or false. The minimum amount of energy possessed by the reactant molecules to undergo a chemical reaction is known as activation energy. Had to state whether this statement is true or false. Your time starts now. It is a false statement. Actually, it is called threshold energy and not the activation energy.
try another statement the activation energy is equal to threshold energy minus energy of normal reactant molecules under standard conditions your time starts now state whether this statement is true or false yes it is a true statement it is from the definition Now try this one. The activation energies of chemical reactions change with temperature. Your time starts now. It is a false statement because by definition the activation energy of a particular chemical reaction is a fixed quantity unless the standard conditions are redefined visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adhikemistry activation energy You can also find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section. If you find it difficult to reach them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section or drop an email to adikemadi at gmail dot com. Okay, all the best. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.